Not oscillating. The kids these days arc at him. So lazy, he can't even be bothered to clean their own choppers. What's wrong with a good old-fashioned manual toothbrush? Try the cupboard in the corner. The electric toothbrush gives you a better clean. It's more thorough. Says who? Nine out of ten dentists. You've made that up. I have not. Try it. I'll buy you one. My treat. No, thanks, son. Keep your money. You'll learn one day that the old ways sometimes work the best. Isn't that right, Frank? He's old, but it still works. Can I have these, then? Of course you can. Cheers. So you think you're so flash, don't you, with your newfangled inventions? But what happens if the batteries run out? See, your teeth will drop out while my smile keeps on shining. Do you want to borrow my inflatable chopper pillow? I'm only going to Glasgow, Frank. It's chilly Jocko land. The flight is half an hour. Don't worry about me. Worry about Glamour Boy and his teeth, cos he's got to take hundredweight of Dutch Army knickers across the North Sea. You will be careful. Of course I will. Oh, babe, yeah. But don't fret, babe, cos we will be well prepared. Dib, dib, dib and dob, dob, dob. I can't believe both my men are going away at the same time. I'm going to feel proper abandoned. Well, went yourself some chick flicks. And there's a case of Chardonnay in a wine cellar. Oh, you think I'm staying in? I'm going out on the town, mate. Yeah, maybe me and Leanne can go out together, check out the talent. <laughs> and Keith's pig might fly. You'd better bring me back a present. What do you want? A bunch of tulips or a pair of clogs? It's a business trip, babe, not shopping. I'll be lucky if I see daylight. You bring me back something nice or don't bother coming back at all. Yeah. I promise. Mm. <sighs> you look terrible. I feel terrible. And we Bob Geld off. What? You want to cancel Third World Day and make poverty history? I don't like Mondays. Yeah? Well, try not getting plastered on Sundays, then. Come to bingo with me. No, I don't want to come to bingo. It's fun. You might win. I am not going to bingo. Well, we could still spend some time together, couldn't we, me and you? Make a night of it. No time. We could stay in if you like. Get a vid. Big family pack of crisps. Each. Janice, read me lips. Said no. Don't you want to spend any time with me? No, not really. Why? Thought lover boy were away in Holland. Yeah, yes, it's just I've got other plans, that's all. You are seeing that rat. Janice, do you know, you dirty little liars. You both promised me that it were all over. It is. We're just saying goodbye. <laughs> well, it's the first time I've ever heard it go that before. Janice, don't look at me like that. You told me that Jamie was the only one for you. Yeah, he is. It's just me and Danny want to wend it properly in style. You want to get caught? No, we don't. We won't get caught. It's all planned. Jamie will be in Holland and Danny's told Frankie he's got a conference in Glasgow. So we have one last night together, then that's it. Just come to bingo. Oh, Janice, keep out of it, will you? I know what I'm doing. We have one last night together and then that's it. Forever. <laughs> <coughs> Hiya. Will you talk to her? Is there any subject you want me to talk about? Creepy Phil the foot fiddler. <sighs> I'm just saying maybe I overreacted. I mean, I didn't give him a chance to put his side of the story. What story, Mum? He took advantage of you. He took advantage of both of us. I know, but well, I... Well, you've got to be very careful nowadays. There's some real nutters about. He's not a nutter. Is it so wrong to give someone a chance to explain their actions? I've never liked him. See? Do I have to consult you two every time I meet somebody new? Well, you'd do better if you did. I don't pass judgement on your friends. Oh, Mum, you pass judgement on every boyfriend I've ever had. Yeah, it's true, you do. Yeah, well, it's what parents do. It's in the job description. Whose side are you on? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Oh, well, shall we change the subject then? Shall we? Shall we talk about your new girlfriend, uh, Robin, is it? Uh, David, fancy doing something this weekend? Yeah, great, what? I don't know. Anything you like. Yeah. Coward. And you, you better stay away from that Phil. Right. She loves you, you know. I don't want to talk about it. OK. And how about you? How are you feeling today? I'm all right. Why? Not just you two lost out on love, didn't you? We filled the footman. Well, thanks for reminding me. I don't want to talk about it either. You shouldn't bottle up your feelings, you know. I have the power to heal. Shut it, Sean. You don't know what it's like. You don't know how we're feeling. 
Oh, behave yourself, Jason Grimshaw. My heart's been broken that many times it's held together with bits of old string and chewing gum. Me and tragedy are busy mates. Me and stupidity and all. Yeah, well, you're being stupid right now, and if you're not careful, you'll get a thick lip. You want her back? I know you do. You don't know what I want, Sean. I beg to differ. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Eileen, time to go to work. I've not finished my toast. I think four slices is quite enough. Come on, get your coat, we're off. Hey, Jason, you stay there. Look who it is! I, I took these CDs by accident yesterday and I know that you really like them. You set this up. Well, somebody had to do something. Come on, Eileen, we're off. No, I'm off. And if you were straight, I'd dump you on. Am I supposed to be offended by that? I think you should just be grateful. Right, don't panic. I'll sort it. I'll talk to Jason. You stay here. Jason! Jason! Come on, love, come and sit down. I've got tea and pop. Can I better get... Do what you're told and come and sit down. Hey, look at us, eh? Two losers in love. <laughs> Why are things not going so well between you and Phil? Oh, I managed to put the kibosh on that one. <laughs> what did you do? Kiss his boss? Not exactly. Hey, give him time. Jason's a dinosaur. You can talk common sense to him all day, but it'll just take a week for the message to get through. <laughs> I don't mind waiting. Oh, good. Have some toast. It helps to eat. <laughs> You never know. Things might still work out for you and Phil. They might. You're right. You never know. You checked the van for legal immigrants? <laughs> right, to kick out a family of mice. They wanted to start a new life in a windmill in old Amsterdam. Right. This is a special delivery, son. Don't screw it up, OK? I'll be fine. In fact, I've got ages. I was hoping we could have a chat, you and me. Chat? What do you want to chat about? I don't know. Stuff. What stuff? Life stuff. Oh, you want to chat about life stuff? OK, I'll chat about life stuff. Life goes on in the chat. I've got a plane to catch, son. Hiya. All right. I Morning. can't let you go without saying bye. <laughs> All he got was Frankie pestering for a present. Yeah, well, we have our own ways to show we care. Oh, you're going away as well? Yeah, yeah, Glasgow. All business, no pleasure. Oh, well, you never know. <laughs> well, I better get going, eh? Wheels of industry wait for no man. Have a good time. You too. And Jamie, I'm relying on you, son. Bye. Ta da. You look fantastic. What? I'm in my work clothes. Oh, no. Mad you are. Yeah, we should do something special. Jamie, you got a van full of knickers to deliver. <laughs> I don't mean now, I mean when I get back. When I get back, we'll do something special. Oh, yeah, what? Well, it's my surprise. All right, I look forward to it. I love you. Yeah, me too. You take care, right? You too. See ya. See ya. What are you gonna wear? And don't say your snakeskin jacket. I'm not walking down aisle to marry a reptile. Could wear me suit. Your coat suit? Yeah. I tell you what you could wear. What? That tight little orange dress. The one that always gets me going. Whoa. Orange? Orange? I'm not getting wet in orange. You may have been married before.